10 deep sea cities. Number 10, Port Royal, Jamaica. It was once known as the most wicked and sinful city in the world, according to historical accounts. No doubt Captain Jack Sparrow would have fit right in with Port Royal. It was actually famous for being a party town for pirates, but all that fun came to an end in June of 1692. An estimated 7.5 magnitude earthquake and tsunami shook Jamaica and devastated Port Royal, causing the city's north section to fall into the sea and killing around 3,000 people. The city's remains are under 40 feet of water, but some experts consider it the Western Hemisphere's most important underwater archaeological site. Number 9. Thonis Heraklion. It was once located on Egypt's northern coast and was regarded as one of the Mediterranean's most essential port cities. Ironic that it ended up at the bottom of the very sea it served. After nearly 1,200 years, the area has been excavated, though. Over 60 ancient shipwrecks have been located, along with anchors, coins, and immense sculptures that are thought to have adorned the city's temples. Although an exact cause has not been determined, the city is thought to have sunk after being struck by an earthquake. Number 8. Japan's Atlantis. These mysterious structures were discovered in 1987 off the coast of Yonaguni-jima, six meters below the water. First noticed by a scuba diving instructor, the immense rectangular formations had precise 90-degree angles, along with straight steps, walls, and columns. Divers have found what appear to be temples, paved streets, carvings, and a huge pyramid-like structure that rises 250 feet from its base. Up to 15 structures are thought to occupy a space of 300 meters by 150 meters. Meters. Some experts think the structures represent the remains of a pre-glacial city that existed above sea level some 10,000 years ago. But others argue that this is a series of natural rock formations, although it is possible that over time humans made enhancements to the formations and did use them for some purpose. The debate continues today, but what do you think? Number 7. Alexandria, one of the world's richest underwater archaeological sites, was discovered just off the shores of Alexandria, Egypt. Missing for more than 1,600 years, the ruins of Cleopatra's ancient kingdom were discovered in 1996. Historians believe the entire city was plunged into the sea by cataclysmic earthquakes or other natural disasters. Teams of marine archaeologists excavating the area made many discoveries, including the foundations of Cleopatra's palace, a huge stone head thought to bear the likeness of Caesarion, the son Cleopatra had with Julius Caesar, as well as sphinxes, temples, statues, and coins, which were expected to have an insurance value of $50 million. Many of the objects were still intact thanks to sediment protecting them from the corrosive effects of salt water. Number 6. Pavla Petri, Greece. This is the world's oldest known archaeological town site, dating back around 5,000 years. While many underwater ruins are incomplete or difficult to distinguish between naturally occurring shapes and man-made structures, Pavla Petri displays a complete town layout, including tombs, streets, and architecture. There are around 15 structures submerged under 13 feet of water. It was discovered in 1968, and there is an ongoing research project to determine when the town was occupied and how it became submerged. Number 5. India's Underwater City. Geometric ruins were found off the coast of Dwarka, one of India's oldest cities in 2001. Located 120 feet underwater in the Gulf of Cambay, the underwater city was investigated by marine archaeologists and determined to be man-made. When items like pottery, sculpture, and human remains were carbon dated, they were determined to be some 9,500 years old. Because that time frame corresponds to the end of the Ice Age some 10,000 years ago, it is possible the city was submerged by rising sea levels caused by the ice caps melting. If this underwater city really is as old as it seems, it would predate the earliest known cities in Mesopotamia by as much as 5,000 years. Number 4. An underwater Pompeii. Remains of an ancient settlement were discovered off the small island of 
Delos in the Aegean Sea. Located just six feet deep off the island's northeastern coast, archaeologists have found fallen colonnades and walls along with a ruined pottery workshop and 16 terracotta pots embedded in the sea floor. Large boulders aligned in front of the workshop seem to have formed a waterfront to protect the area. The ruins were once thought to be the remnants of port facilities, but now experts believe the structures are the remains of an unidentified settlement that was likely involved with crafting and commercial enterprises. How and when it collapsed is still being investigated. And if you're wondering about that nickname, similar workshops have been found in Pompeii, so the Greek media dubbed the site a small underwater Pompeii. Number 3. Baia. This lost Roman city was a real sin city. In ancient times, it was known as a hedonistic playground for the super rich and famous. Julius Caesar even kept a permanent vacation home there. While well, the city was sacked by Saracens in the 8th century and was eventually abandoned around 1500, local volcanic activity led to rising waters, and the city eventually collapsed into the Bay of Naples. Today, Baia constitutes an archaeological dive site where visitors can experience the ruins from a tour boat or by scuba diving. The site includes bath complexes, statues of Odysseus, and a villa once owned by Nero. Hey, have you noticed how these wicked cities often seem to end up underwater? Why do you think that is? Number 2. Undersea Museum is it a scene from downtown Atlantis? No, unlike Atlantis, this place really does exist, or will exist shortly. Located off the coast of Lanzarote, one of the Canary Islands, the Atlantic Museum will be Europe's first completely underwater sculpture museum. 400 sculptures will be placed 39 feet below the surface, and visitors will be able to view the sculptures by scuba diving or from glass-bottom boats. The ethereal figures are in human form and are modeled after the Guanches. They were the indigenous cave-dwelling people who inhabited the Canary Islands prior to the Spanish conquest. The lifelike structures are designed to attract plant and marine wildlife and are constructed from high-density pH-neutral concrete that won't alter the marine ecosystem. Some of the pieces depict scenes from everyday life, such as people simply walking along or taking selfies, while other works reference current affairs, such as the influx of refugees to Europe. The museum plans to open to the public by late February of 2017. Number 1. China's Atlantis. Lion City in China has structures that were built over 1,300 years ago, but it's been 130 feet underwater since 1959. Incredibly, almost every structure in the city remains completely intact. Even wooden beams and stairs are well preserved. That's because the city has been protected from the effects of rain, wind, and sun. It was once called Qi Cheng and was a hub of economics and politics in Zhejiang, but it paid the price of progress. In 1959, the Chinese government decided to build a new hydroelectric power station. As a dam was constructed, the ancient city was purposely flooded and eventually submerged within a man-made lake. Today, the city is nowhere to be seen. Amazingly, the Lion City became a forgotten city, but this real-life Atlantis is getting another chance. There are plans to turn the location into a tourist attraction and a destination for diving clubs. <laughs>